Hey guys, today I will tie uh, this large Mayfly nymph, which is uh, based on Steve Thornton uh, Ammonite uh, nymph. You need the, the nymph skin and a flexi body. However, both are some of uh, the silicon foil. But it comes in nice colors here and it's nice thick foil. I'm going to use this which is called translucence 3 millimeters. You can go even for the gold or, or some white. There's the white. Okay, so the hook is going to be a size 8, it's Jimco 2302, the thread Dynama 55 and gold, so start with the thread. I'm going all the way back here. Just turn this, and I'm going to make a tail from the ostrich, some light color, just like three of these. And I'll make them short. That's it uh, from this. Now you need about 10 centimeters of the nymph skin and you need to uh, cut the end of the nymph skin strip at an angle. So the start of the body will be slim. Just like this. You can see this. So tight in here. Again. Now I'm going to add weight. Uh, lead wire 0.21 and I will get I will add enough uh, the light because I like to have these flies pretty heavy I'm fishing this as a short name okay just a little bit of varnish here And go all the way there and even going back so it'll be a really heavy fly okay like this We have to just cover this. Uh, we have to shape the body actually under the new skin. I'm going to use fly right some poly dubbing with long hairs, no matter the color, almost uh, some light under the translucent new skin and dub it. part uh, so like this okay nicely shape the body okay 
you know, fine here. Now wrap the new skin over and each time covering uh, about half the previous wrap. You can stretch it a bit, not too much. The, I think the Mayfly abdomen is divided into about seven segments, but I don't, of course, not going to count this, just the rough number. So cover it, about a half the shank. This is pretty enough to Mayfly have a pretty long thorax actually so let them let their space trim this off cover this secure this okay we have the body uh, now you can take some uh, color uh, waterproof felt pen marker I'm going to use some dark blue and just paint the back here a bit okay fine now the flexi body is coming it's actually some silicone sheet on a paper. We are going to cut the, the strip in a, in a bit like this previous, about almost two times more than the thick of the body. And you need just about two centimeters. Here we go, and I will just shape it so it'll be better to tie in. If you can see this, and tighten in here in the middle. Okay, I say in the middle. Just make sure you're going enough back with a thread wrap. Um, yeah, maybe just a little bit more. Okay, I think it's fine. Uh, now we have to dab our thorax to a taper towards the hook eye. I'm going to use uh, where it is once again. Oh, sorry, today I'm okay. Yeah, uh, I'm going to use just this the hare dabbing. Just a little bit. Actually, just for the cover. Let's try it. And shape the taper. Just like this, we are going to cover this with another dab, dab in. So, 
I think basically the taper maybe a bit more just a bit Now, uh, we need to add uh, some heckle. I'm going to use cartridge heckle. Some of this can be some longer. like this if you remove this this you don't need just prepare it like this and tie in the echo in here in, in this uh, we should put this back so we will not cover them Be careful not to remove them actually. Okay. Okay. Now just fix it here. Be sure it's in the middle. I'm going to use a small piece of straw here. Just cut it in the middle so you can put it on the thread actually. And we'll keep the heckle back. Just be careful not to remove the, the heckles. Okay. Now we are going. Uh, to 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 dab in, in a, into a loop, you need uh, some kind of tool for this. This special hook, and we are going to make a loop here, just six seven centimeters is enough. Secure it here in the rear part. Hold it with a thread to front. Secure it. And I'm going to dab it in a loop. I'm going to use muscat strip, just like four centimeters. That's pretty enough, and these are the uh, thin, very thin strips. So, if you have a, uh, I I actually can't find my paper clip for this, or if you have the magic tool from Mark Petitjean, you will have much easier way to do this. Now, basically just put a fur into the loop. And trim off the skin. I have a hard time with this. Now, twisting 
the tool until you will have nice knot and it's pretty a lot of fur here I will some remove some I don't need that much so I'll remove some from the fur and it's fine just fine and make a nice wrap around the, the thorax here you can actually brush but just with your fingers brush it back so you will not tie them down these previous first Secure this here. Okay. Not that bad. Trim this off. Secure it. Cover this. You can now brush it a bit with a. I made this from Velcro, just a piece of Velcro. Well, fine. I think it's alright. Just a little bit too much, too long hair, but it's fine. Now uh, remove the straw. And push the fur down a bit and go with a hacker, bend it to the front, tight but careful. I will remove this a bit more of this. Okay, make sure it's in, in the middle. Fix it here. Okay. Trim this. Uh, yeah. Secure. Put a little bit, just a little bit of varnish here. And we are going to pull over the flexi body. Again, nice tight. And basically make sure it's really in the middle. Make it tight. And Ribs. Now, really carefully, I'm going to add a few more wraps and I'm going to trim the rest of the, the flexi body. Okay, and now we're finishing to a small head. I like this this color, this golden the combination of the abdomen here. So yeah, something like this. Maybe a, a little bit bigger hair, why not? The names have uh, not really that small hair. That's it now. I will varnish the head. There. There's a drop here. And drop 
from down. Okay. And I think we're done here. It looks really furry. However, once you will wet it, put it in the water, it will go look like this. Really nice name. Uh, I will just color the flexi body to, to some dark. Okay, so that's it. Uh, beautiful Mayfly nymph based on the Steve Thornton technique and his uh, flexi body and the nymph skin. This is how it's looking when it's uh, when it's get wet. Pretty pretty nice fly so hope uh, you will finish this fly and will work for you and for basically work will work for fish so that's it good night bye bye